actually. Oh. So, <laughs> welcome everybody. Welcome to Energy Play Shop number 50. It's uh, June 15th, today, 2023. Um, the topic this evening is um, Sacral Chakra, because we started last week to talk about the Kundalini. Um, Kundalini is really our, it's an energy, um, major men energy meridian within our body. And the role of Kundalini is really to bring the earth energy up to to bring the energy uh, earth energy up to into our body all the way to uh, from bottom up to the top of our head so we um did the the root chakra clearing talked a bit about what the root chakra is so this week we're going to continue onwards to talk about what is the sacral chakra which is the second chakra so that is our topic this evening. <clears throat> Actually, we talked a lot um, before I started recording about um, really what's going on in the world today. So what's going on in the world today, it has a lot to do with our energy system because the what our energy is um, really creates our reality um it uh, it give us the 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 frequency that we add and then depending on what our frequency is we um will see the world in a different way so that really is how i see it as we live here so before i go start to dive into that i want to actually um, have a short meditation a presence meditation for everybody since we had a full day today this is 8 p.m um toronto time currently so for for me and for a lot of the the, the people who have uh, who are on here right now we've had a full day so now it is just um, by way of a short meditation to let go of everything that has distracted us during the day so that we can just be here right now for ourselves. So let's begin by just taking in a deep breath. So breathe in through your nose, slowly and deeply. And breathe out. Through your nose, slowly and deeply again. Breathe in again. And breathe out. Breathe in deeply again through your nose. And breathe out. Let everything go. As you breathe out, also allow your body to relax as well. And then continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing with the intention of elongating your breath as much as it is still comfortable for you. Use your breath to relax yourself as much as possible. Imagine that you are actually breathing in pure love. And as you breathe out, let go of anything and everything that does not resonate with your love. So when you breathe in, breathe in pure love from the universe. And as you breathe out, let go of anything and everything that does not support you in this moment. Mm. 
and do this for a few more breaths. Until you really feel yourself being relaxed. And when you find yourself feeling relaxed, then you can switch. And next time you breathe in, just imagine that you're bringing back all the parts of yourself, all of your attention, all of your energies that you have sent out to people, places, and things during the day. In this moment, as you breathe in, bring them all back. Bring back all of your attention, all of your energy, back into yourself. There's nobody to impress, nothing to take away your attention. In this moment, you are breathing in living for yourself and only yourself. Bringing back all of your attention, all of your energies to you in this moment. Be here for yourself now. And only focus on what's right in front of you, right here, right now. Bring yourself all the way back to now, in this present moment, to you, who you are. Right now. When you do that, feel yourself becoming more solid, more present. Feel yourself expanding as well. As all the attention and energies is gathering around you. And when you feel that, when you really feel that you are all here for yourself, then you can come all the way back into the room, open your eyes, take a deep breath in, and be here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> okay, so good job for the meditation. Now that we're all back here, let me just um, grab my notes, my cheat sheets for this evening before I start to talk a little bit about what the sacral chakra is. Um, mm -hmm. So location, where is the sacral chakra? Um, chakra is energy energy vortex and we have these energy vortexes within our body because um, that's how we the body actually works is it pulls energy up so these energy centers um, works like a vortex to pull the energy up and the sacral chakra is located about two inches below the belly button. And um, <clears throat> so two, 
two inches below the, the, the navel, the belly button. And it is because of the way that the um, earth is rotating currently, or how the, the, the tilt of our axis is currently, the Kundalini is kind of closer to the, the spine. So it is about two inches below your belly and close to your spine. So kind of, um, yeah, feel that in your body where it is. And that is where your um, sacral chakra is. And this chakra is... The sacral is kind of where all the the sexual organs are. So that's so all so that is actually what the um, nature of that that energy center is. It's really about creativity. It's about um, sexual energy exchange as well. So it's about. Um, I would say how to relate to other people at a more intimate level, more personal level as well. And this, the, the, um, the element that is for this um, chakra is water. Uh, for, for the root chakra, the, the element is earth. So for the, the sacral chakra, it, the element is water because that is where um, our kidneys are and kidneys really is to filter the, the, the fluids in our body. And so it is really, the element is water. And it is how we experience and integrate polarity as well. It's about how we relate to other people at a more personal level. Um, the third chakra is also about a relationship as well, but it's more at a, um, I would say, a group level. And at the, the sacral chakra is more at a personal level, the relationship with other people at a more personal level. And whenever there is an imbalance in this, this chakra, what how the way it shows up is physically the physical symptoms, if there is any imbalance in, in this uh, sacral chakra is the bladder and kidney issues can show up. Or if there is any um, issue with uh, sexual intercourse, or discomfort or any, um, I would say, um, strong beliefs about sex and intercourse in general, that's that's how this would show up. And uh, right now we are definitely having some sacral chakra imbalance because <laughs> of all the, um, I would say, confusion about our sexual identity. So, that is the, the sacral chakra imbalance. And um, any kind of uh, um, reproductive issues, um, any ovarian cysts, or any kind of um, pain in this area. So lower, um, yeah, lower back issues, all of those are physical manifestation of a, a sacral chakra imbalance. So if you have one of those or a few of those, then you know that your sacral chakra needs some help. So and on a psychological um, level, the, the imbalance may show as either an over or under um, indulgence in sex or sexual fantasies. And, um, and also because it's about creating it's it's about creation as well because that's where the the um, 
that's where the humans, the, the, the woman's womb is as well. So any blockage in creative ideas, then you know that, okay, sacral chakra maybe is imbalanced as well. And because it is also about um, more personal relationships. So if you feel loneliness or any anxiety or um, insecurity, uh, um, that that's those are all psychological issues that are um, related to imbalance in this. Or for example, any commitment issues if committing to um, more personal relationships, not just a um, to um, marriage. It could be commitments to um, certain partner, whether it's work related or family situation. So commitment issues, or it could be trouble setting boundaries between you and your family members. Those are all um, psychological part of imbalance in in terms of the, the sacral. So that's that. And um, so at a more, at a more, um, hmm, what's the word that I'm looking for? At a more metaphysical level, at a more spiritual level, um, this is really about connection as well, because it's about relationship, a personal relationship with other people. And so that's a reflection of a connection. How, so at a um, more metaphysical level is your connection to yourself, to your own source um, connection. So those would come in as well. And it's also connection to the relationships that are important in creating your own reality. So I would say the, 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 the word for it is connection. So any, any feeling of disconnection. So when we feel disconnected, then all the other um, negative emotions will start to come in fear, anxiety, um, insecurities, those. However, when you are really connected with yourself, when you are connected to who you are, who you truly are at a soul level, when you really connected to that, then the the fear factor would start to fall off because you when you are more connected to your soul, then you understand that you're not just this body. You have a body, but you're not just this body. And that there is actually a something, some part of you that is bigger than this physical body that is guiding you and watching over you. And that all, and it's also orchestrating for your own experience in this reality as well so that so that connection is what allows you to let go of the the negative emotions so when you on the other hand if you feel disconnected that's when you when all of those other insecurities has a chance to come in to kind of whisper in your ears and and um you would be more susceptible to all of the other things, all of the other negative self-talk that is coming in. So connection, really connection. And also to know that when you're really connected to yourself, you would... Um, be better, be in a better position to understand that um, whatever it is that's happening outside of you that you don't agree with, you don't like, is actually 
a it's a playing out of a part of you that's within you that you haven't quite you haven't quite connected to yet and when you really see the connection of um your judgment of something that's outside of you and you can connect to oh okay it is because i have a certain belief that is creating this judgment and when you can resolve that then you can kind of resolve that as well and when you resolve that within yourself then the um the outside does not have to act out to remind you that well, this is unresolved within yourself so that is really all about the um, sacral chakra. So any questions, comments so far? Not really? Okay. <clears throat> so then how do we clear? How do we clear that? I've already mentioned that it is about connection. It's, it's really about creating that connection within ourselves. And um, the other thing is really radical self-acceptance. Because I don't know if you have ever have this, um, have done this exercise, is to look at yourself in the mirror whether it is you know just just um half you can just see yourself just the the top half or whether and um, and it's actually even more effective if you have a full length mirror and you can see all of you and when you look at yourself in the mirror is what comes up for you so um, for, I would say for most people, for average human being, they would, um, myself anyways, I would notice the, the, the imperfection first. Things like, okay, gray hair over here, over there. And then there is this um, lines on my face uh, or, okay, I have a blemish at this part of my face. I got um, too many sunspots, all those those things like noticing the imperfections within ourselves, and that's just the the outside. Um, whereas uh, and and also just if we look at ourselves long enough, the the next layer would start to to come out is oh you're fat you're skinny and you're, you're short or you're tall, all of those things would start to come out is, is really um, not that we are fat, not that we are skinny, not that we are too tall or too anything. It is just that um, the, uh, that, that dissatisfaction with ourselves that is coming out when we see an image of ourselves it's it's that's when all of those come things come out and um so that actually that really tells us that it's the acceptance of all of that so when you get to the point where you look at the mirror and you can really see how you look without any judgment, can really see how you are and be able to accept what it is that you think you see in the mirror. That is... Um, one of the ways that you can tell that you have moved 
to a different level of accepting yourself and get to the point where you actually start to have compassion for yourself and then acceptance, compassion. And then after that, you can step into really starting to feel love for yourself. And, and you can actually do that first with yourself. Um, because we're, we're quite brutal to ourselves. And then next, then we can start to look at the people around us and be able to see them as who they are without any judgment, with complete acceptance, compassion, and all of that. So this is... I would say one of the the ways that you can do to walk that path of um, clearing all of your judgment. And we're going to do a meditation. Um, so I just want to give anyone a chance to make any comments or <clears throat> any particular, I would say, comments before I go on to the, the meditation. So we're, we're not only looking to, to accept ourselves, but looking to accept circumstances and other people exactly the way they are without judging any of it. That's a tall order. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. One step at a time though. I'm I'm not asking you to do that in this moment. You have until tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay then. No worries. Yes, you have a full twenty four hours to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's too easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. uh. And is that also sort of associated with surrender? Surrender. Okay. It could be, yeah. It can be. I put those two together. Um... I don't like the word surrender too much. Surrender is like you give up. <laughs> give up. Something like that. So uh -huh. it is it is not really surrender, but you <clears throat> it's really about um trust <laughs> and faith. Mm. Because a okay. lot of times things happen and we don't know why. We don't know for what reason. However, things happen because, um, like, like, for example, something happened in the world um, that we don't like. We don't know why, what purpose it serves. However, things only happen because there is group of people who want to experience it so they and then another group of people who is um, who wants to create make that creation with them so it's a co always a co-creation okay and, yeah I, but i like to place that better than surrender yeah, yeah, but I don't quite, but we don't quite understand why things happen the way they are. Right. So is we really have to trust that whatever happens is for a reason. We we may not know what the reason is. However, we just know that um, if something happens, is because there is uh, it serves a purpose, right. even though we may not agree with the purpose. And um, when we let go of our judgment, it actually, uh, when we just accept that, okay, 
it is the way it is. And we have um, that, that trust and faith that when the people who are, um, are involved no longer need that experience, then it will just go away. Okay. It, yeah. It does not have to keep happening anymore. So. Right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for pointing that out. Any other um, no other? Okay, so let's start the I'm gonna